Fuchs is taking the corruption case against her to trial. The Austin Democrat has made headlines for refusing to step down after promising to do so months before this year's legislative session began. KXAN's Wes Rappaport takes us inside the courtroom. Unequivocally. I am not guilty of these charges. State Rep Donna Dukes insists she did not tamper with government records or abuse her official capacity related to travel vouchers from 2013 and 2014. She arrived in court more than two and a half hours after her scheduled 9 a.m. appearance in Travis County. District Court Judge Brad Urrutia didn't let the delay go unnoticed. I found out last night that I needed to be here. My father had had surgery. Uh, my sitter was supposed to arrive at 7 a.m. and did not show. Dukes pleaded not guilty to all charges, now down to four after she was initially hit with more than a dozen. We're set for a trial uh, October 16th, and so that'll be our opportunity to, I mean, it's not our burden, but that will be our opportunity to show that she's not guilty of these charges. We're in a wonderful country with a wonderful judicial system. And with that judicial system, it states uh, and practices that every person is innocent until proven guilty, not the other way around, not prosecuted uh, in the press, but you look at the facts. Despite criticism that she missed the majority of votes on the House floor this past session, before she left the building, she left the door open for a re-election campaign. That is a very strong possibility. Wes Rappaport, KXAN News. The criminal case against Duke dates back for the more than a year now. In April of 2016, Texas Rangers said they were investigating claims she had her staff members paid with state dollars to work for a nonprofit group. Authorities also said she had them run personal errands and do chores for her. At September, Dukes announced she would resign on January 10th at the beginning of this year's legislative session, citing medical problems as after a car crash in 2013. But three days before she was due to resign, Dukes told District Attorney Margaret Moore she would not step down, surprising people who already started campaigning to take her place. On January the 18th, the Travis County Grand Jury indicted her on two criminal charges, tampering with government records and abuse of official capacity. Earlier this week, Dukes questioned whether she had been profiled at a local bank. On Wednesday, Dukes posted on Facebook saying she tried to deposit a $10,000 check from another city. Frost Bank tells us that standard procedures in cases like this where someone who is not a customer cashes a large check is to call for verifying the person's identity and validating the check before it can be deposited. Frost says the teller followed procedures in this case.